Welcome to the desert and inside Chase Field in Phoenix. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming at you right after the break. First pitch moments away. And on the mound today, Brandon Fack. Chris, he's looking for a bounce back this season. Yeah, and I think this guy understands that if he doesn't make quicker adjustments and show improvement, that the patience that his manager has will not last as long as it did last year. So we'll see if he can get off to a great start. Perhaps the work that he did in the offseason will show good results early on. But he's got to get out of the gates going strong, or else he may find himself in the bullpen or back in the minor leagues. Charlie Blackman in the box now. No balls and a strike. First pitch, four o'clock. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride blown out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Digging in, Adel Amadou. Close one, doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Right side. Marte. The throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's Bud Black's lineup for the Colorado Rockies. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustments. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. Nolan Jones, batting with one down, takes a strike. Man at second. Way That's high. I don't like to say he wasted One a pitch. I think strikes. that was yeah. a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Right hander kicks deals. That's Walter. One out and a runner at second. That one inside, and the count is filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Out there to center, Thomas gets under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Out number two. That is it. The third base number 24, Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. Foul ball there. And he hits a ground ball right side. 
A flip to the pitcher oh. covering, and that'll do it. So one left for Colorado, and now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here in the desert, and today's starter, Peter Lambert. What do we need to know here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Cattell Marte. And the pitch. That misses the zone. 1 0. Lambert, a 6 2 righty, 26 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2015. Here's the strike. What a good eye there. You got two balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. Right side, hard hit. One up, one down. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lavello. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. Randall Gritchick now swinging a hot bat with three homers in the series, six hits total. First pitch misses. One out, base is empty. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind and the pitch. And outside, delivers outside. That one way three. outside. Full count now. Payoff pitch. Good plate That's appearance four. there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really that close is. pitches. And four, somehow, four. he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Bull Bichette up to the dish. And that's in for a strike. Bichette hitting third in the lineup, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. Oh, one down. The shortstop takes the ball. The one one is fouled off. Pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one two. And that just misses. It's a good take. Line drive, the tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. Back here at Chase Field, and now it's Elias Diaz. Back, back to work. Just oh, missed. Nice. Yeah, a foul ball. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off.
Swings and misses, struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there, not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Most of the swings were you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Here's Chris Bryant now. Two hits in 13 at bats of the series so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses inside. Two balls, no strikes. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Second inning here, no score. Strike. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Hey. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Careful. Left field, Guriel trying to get there. Snags it for the second out. That is, that is, the left field. Sean Bouchard. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Went deep in the ball game last night. Bouchard started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Pulls it in on the run. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the right fielder, Corbin Carroll. Comes a pitch. Corbin Carroll was an easy choice for Rookie of the Year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consistent season that took a lot of drama away from the announcement. The world of baseball knew he was going to win it. Just missed. And Boo Carroll deserved the award, no doubt about that. At 22 years old, he had. Big stock center field. Put the extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got a leadoff triple. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And now it's Christian Walker. The inside edge. And the count is one and one. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. One I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Ball and that's down and away. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Runner at third, nobody out. You're in the finale of this four game set. Okay. Just misses there. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Lourdes Goriel Jr. up next.
And a pitch. And ball oh. four to a goal. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy not laying on pitches that just miss no the zone good. like that. And More it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Lourdes Goriel Jr. at the plate and takes high there. That one misses. That's five straight. Tough spot right here. A couple of runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. At the belt and fires. At ball count. Put a right that pitch down. A. Eugenio Suarez in the on deck circle. He knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. 3-1 now. There's a swing and a miss. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Hey, you hey, hey, Suarez up to hit now. Oh, oh, last oh. night, added another hit as well. Nope. Just That's missed. strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this he can earn some points the one one there's a strike one ball two strikes In the air of the infield, it's and the infield fly is down. called. That again. The seventh. Alec Thomas now. Golden opportunity right here. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Hey. Swings through that one. Oh, one. one. Well, a come-and-get-me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And now the one. And that drops in for a strike. Strike three. Got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at that coming up now. Now up next for Arizona, Gabrielle Moreno. Fall off foul. Now the one Late with the swing there. Threw that fastball oh, right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Two outs. 
Next offering misses down and away. One ball, two strikes, count. On the ground to short, Tobar. Off balance throw, in time. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Diamondbacks leave them loaded. We'll move to the third with no score. I keep coming back. back here with my pal Ziggy. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. Outside, two and two. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Moreno gathers, throws the first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And now here is a Lowry's Montero. All ones that count. One down, base is empty. Strike two. It's gotten into a really good rhythm. Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Ball, Keep the momentum going. Right. Top of the third, no score. Not close with that one. And that's ball two. Righty delivers. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And here it comes. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Outside, and that is ball four. Now, back to the top of the lineup. Here's Charlie Blackman. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. One ball. In the dirt. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Montero leads off first with one away. That oh, one right misses. Down. Now two and two. The pitch. And Help. another ball. that one away and we'll do it again mm -hmm. 
the pitch. Bells that off to the left and will do it again. And he deals. Grounder might be two. Over to Bichette. Out. And that's two. Out. Three up, three down for him there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, Cattell Marte. The right-hander back to work. Here's the strike. Well, these Diamondbacks doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. Here's the 0-2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So the, the pitcher for having him out in front of Get that pitcher. Clearly he had a throw. Right to hit Randall Gritchin. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. McMahon yeah. fires over to first. And that quickly two away. Now that oh. is Shit stands in now for the Diamondbacks. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And that is that. Out of the fourth, still scoreless. And we're back. Start of the fourth. So in now for Colorado, Ada El Amador. Amador. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And a good eye there. Amador, only 20 years old. Usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. And that one wrapped foul. Well, the one thing he'll find is that a lot of the time the play is to your back. You're moving to your right. You've got to throw back to first base. That's the difference between shortstop and second. You're usually moving into the play at shortstop. Second base, right. not so much. Inside corner, that's a strike. And the count, one and two. And another ball. Next pitch is outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And a 3-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Jones, no all for one with a fly out to center. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Pitch is in for a strike. Going on. One. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to oh. first. 
two up two down first of all that's just a nice job to even get to oh, that yeah. ball oh, and oh, then oh. even more oh, impressive oh, was the throw oh, off oh, balance oh, oh. had to try to end the air get his shoulders turned and make a strong throw does show off the strength of the arm we're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop McMahon stands in here takes ball one low two out spaces empty next offering upstairs the line to kick the pitch ball just three. missed Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And a strike in there. Thanks. Next offering is in for a strike. Three, Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Now the Rockies catcher, Elias Diaz. Counts one and zero. Oh. Squirts away a little bit, but no advance. That's ball one. Diaz goes six foot one, 225 pounds, and he's a former All Star Game MVP. Wouldn't chase that time. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Fourth inning underway, no score. Knocks it down. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. He's 0 for 1. No strikes. All one, no strikes. Two on, two outs. Next pitch in for a strike and a count one and one. Tap softly on the ground. Down the line and it's foul. First and second, two down. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back here in the desert bottom of the fourth and now the right fielder Corbin Carroll the line and the pitch that one in the air center field. Bryant settles underneath it. And a quick out number one. 
He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just bat. barely the missed it. Base. Man, this guy was ready to hit. So digging in, Christian Walker worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Bases and that rolls into the corner. The throw into second, and he's out ah. trying for two. Got a lot of the hustle and the attitude yeah, there to try to stretch that single into a double, Lord, but unfortunately thrown out at second yeah. base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Guriel hey. stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Got him looking. And it's a three up, three down inning. And the Diamondbacks down in order. Still no score. We go to the top of the fifth, and here is Sean Bouchard. Back, back to work. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Action in the pen down there. Kyle Nelson getting ready to go. Thompson also getting ready. The 1-0. -oh. To the right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 1 so far. Bounce to the right side. Slings the he's first. Out. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Now here is Lowry's Montero. He reached out a walk his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Thomas sizes this one up, makes the grab, and that's the inning. Halfway through this one, still no score. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. The pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. You know, these D-backs just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Next offering upstairs. Swing and a miss. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And another ball. Punch out there. Now one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit. Now, and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Alec Thomas stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. for a strike at the top of the zone. Got a ball, one strike.
And now it's one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. And here's the catcher, Gabriel Moreno. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. Inside just missed. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is a win-win every manager's dream. And strike one to the catcher. Two more. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Out to short, Tobar. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Diamondbacks down quickly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Chase Field, all set for the top of the sixth. There's Chuck Nasty. What? You know, the right hater back to work. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Oh. And there's a the ball. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the pitch. Sit down on strikes. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found the spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Amador in the box now. Oh, wow. No balls and a strike. In the air to left, down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The 0-2. Two and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And now it's going to be Nolan Jones. in there. Oh, it's two down. And down on strikes he goes. Picks up strikeout number seven. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. And we still have no scores. Six and the batter the now, Cattell Marte. And a pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Bouchard drifts towards it. Brings it in. One down. 
Yeah. Randall Gritchett right now at the plate. Gritchett. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Slapped foul. Not oh. even close there. <laughs> and the count wanted two. Ripped on a line. Two away down. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Bulbashev. through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, one and one. but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Nothing doing for Arizona, and we are still scoreless. Top of the seventh. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Ryan McMahon. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Kicks and fires. Inside. That one inside. And that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Kyle Nelson up and throwing. And the pitch. Base knock center field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Thomas quickly gets it back in. Go ahead, run into scoring position as he stops at second. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he's squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Tori Lovello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Brandon Fack gives way, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Kyle Nelson takes over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. One for two. That one's in there on one. 0 and 1. On, Kicks and deals. That's in there. And it's going to. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Next offering way upstairs. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Chris Bryant digs in now. Hammers that one, curling down the line, and foul. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way just to travel a fair more. The 
pitch. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it off. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And this is inside. inside. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in the top half of inning number seven. Hey. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Ball and the one. slider just misses. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position here in the finale of this four game set. That one is absolutely belted. Carroll ranging back. And caught on the warning track. No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. And we still have no score. Bottom of the seventh, this is Corbin Carroll. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against it. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Foul ball there. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. One and two. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Austin Gomber, the left-hander, up and throwing. Freeland getting loose as well. That's towards center. Bryant sizing this one up. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one away. Up next to the diamond. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The other way. He holds it in. Two away. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball hard yeah. with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Guriel, the next to hit, takes ball one. All tied up here at the bottom of the seven. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go-ahead run on base. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of holding his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Next to hit for Arizona, Eugenio Suarez. Check swing, no appeal. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Diaz drifts towards it. He's there, he's got it. And that is that. Another scoreless inning, and now that's seven shutout frames. Eighth inning coming up, no score. 
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Miguel Castro. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. So digging in, Ezekiel Tovar. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know, close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Right hander kicks deals. Oh, that one lifted to left. Guriel handles the chance. The first base is number 44. Now, Elauri's Montero. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's two down. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Now it's Charlie Blackman. One for three. Whoa. First pitch misses. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the eighth. And that one fouled off. Two outs. That one pulled foul. He's bagging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. On the ground the first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. center tracks it down for the out and there's one down the catcher under 14 Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks well, this guy one of the best defensive catchers going you talk about framing the ability to block catch and throw he is at the top of the game Line drive base hit so the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Bud Black towards the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change here. Peter Lambert departs. And it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Pitching change here, Austin Gomber. This is his first appearance of the season. Oh, 
An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. That one hit to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two down. The batter, number 15. Designated hitter, Randall Grichik. And next is the designated hitter, Randall Grichik. This to third. They take the Got force him, out. out. Misplay doesn't cost them. Inning over. One left for the Diamondbacks. It's the ninth, and we are tied. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Joe Mantiply. This is his third You're time out this please. year. Here's the second baseman, Adael Amador. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more fight in this one. As the lefty gets to work. Hard hit, right side. Walker Got steps it. on the bag, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. Nope, ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And fouled off. Can't hit her weights. Ball and that's outside. Ball. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. That misses. And the count's full. Ryan McMahon up next for the Rockies. pitch foul ball and it remains a full count payoff pitch that one back up the middle and it gets through so he battled through a long at bat and earned himself a hit Man, that was a pretty good pretty battle pretty to play, and I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. So a change being made at first base. Entering is the pinch runner, Brenton Doyle. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Ryan McMahon. That one in the dirt. One and oh. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Right through there for a strike. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Step off throw to first. Back in safe, really close. 
with the go-ahead run at first here in the finale of this four-game set. Up the middle, and that chance handled over to Bichette. What a double play that was, and it over. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning, ending double play. Now into the ball game on defense, Brenton Doyle. He takes over and right. Three, four, we five, go up for the home team. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bill Bichette. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Shortstop takes the ball, stirring in the Colorado bullpen. Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. The wind of the pitch. Ball three. Corbin Carroll waiting for a turn at the plate. Here's a 3-0. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Yeah, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and leadoff yeah. batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits wait. until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Corbin Carroll, known for his late inning heroics. pitch and he just misses this is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball is going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play that clips a corner Get a little frustrated with the strike zone Winning run at first, nobody out. Here the last half of inning number nine. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. At the belt and fires. That one ripped. Base hit into the outfield. Throw comes in, and the winning run moves up to second with nobody out. No, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Anytime you look a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A-B could end this one. Now up next for Arizona, Christian Walker. And that's ripped in the left. Could be extra bases. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Diamondbacks lock it up. Well, we come into the ninth inning. It's a tied ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the win column. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.
ones won't rap if I got milk with a fry. Eyes on the prize, it's the bang, bang, bang. Pay me no money, but you say, say, say. The final ice will throw a ball goal this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. One run on six hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. For the run on, no run on five hits. No errors. They left six runners on base. Back to the ball game. Two hours and ten minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we will be back with you.